Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio and today I'm sharing with you my altered shipping tag challenge from the Pick a Stick Challenge Facebook group. This is an art community over on Facebook where we offer three challenges a month based on one word randomly drawn prompts. They're one word prompts, you can interpret them any way that you would like to. <clears throat> the first prompt for this, this month's challenge, which is August 2019, was canvas and I had this little uh, acrylic pour canvas that I made in uh, at an art retreat and I had mailed it back to myself and it got stuck to the other one that was in the box plus the the backing on it was warped because it just couldn't handle that much wetness and that much drying time and so it's really not useful as it is so I decided to take the canvas that has the acrylic poured paint on it off of the backing and use the canvas on my tag so because I knew that this tag was going to have a water theme because one of the prompts is fish and fish live in water and you can't really have fish without water I decided to cut my canvas into wave shapes, just little scraps of it. There's more left and I'll, I'll use it on other projects. I still have some left from uh, the other canvas that I poured at that art retreat, which I've already cut up. So, um, you know, it's just something to add to your collage. It's a little bit thicker than paper, but it's fine. So the next prompt was dip. There's lots of things you could do with that. You could do anything from, you know, shaving cream marbling to some type of a dipping in in glue and making paste paper and I mean I had a thousand ideas <clears throat> but I wanted to make this make this uh, simple and quick because I'm leaving for a trip and so I decided to use the distress ink uh, technique that Ranger has I use the distress oxides um, for this but you could use it regular distress ink or oxide where you put the ink on your craft mat and then you dip your tag into it and pick up the ink to make a multicolored um, tag and or whatever I mean it could be card backs or ATCs or whatever but I use four different colors of distress oxide the one called peeled paint is the closest to the color of um, this challenge which is green gold Green gold's kind of an olive color. Um, it's a little bit more yellowy than than the peeled paint, but it's close. So I definitely had that color plus um, twisted citron, I think, and uh, whatever the turquoise or teal one is, and then maybe that other one's faded jeans. But um, I'll link them all in the description box below, and you can you know click on that and see what they are. So I still have my little piece of canvas wave. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I had pulled out some different things out of my um, scraps next to my desk in a box that were green gold colored. And one of them is this napkin that has these wavy shapes on it. And I thought they kind of looked like the current that goes through the water um, under the surface of the water. There's a current always flowing that's moving the water. If there's not a current, then you get stagnant water and it starts to be stinky. So you don't want that. Um, mosquitoes get on it. Blech, scummy pond water. Yuck. Anyway, water needs a current. So I decided to use the, a couple little bits of this napkin um, and collage those down onto my tag to make some of that current looking pattern just for fun. They're the right colors. And... Um, I need. I wanted to have a lot of pattern and interest, and in, um, just having the, those little canvas waves and a fish didn't seem like that much uh, that interesting. So I decided to add some other stuff. And I like to collage anyway. I like to stick things to things, and that's exactly what I'm doing on this tag. I I got all these things that I'm sticking on literally from stuff that is just sitting on my desk in a in a bucket you know, a plastic bucket is like, there's so much I could probably do the, my, um, all my challenges for the rest of the year on just using those buckets of stuff or else I need to go through them 
and sort them and you know put all the pieces in color boxes which is what I do occasionally but I just haven't had time to do that it's a you know something you just have to sit down and do and I haven't had time um, so the next prompt was fish and strangely in that bucket I had two stamped fish on a piece of cardstock from this stamp that I'm showing you right there on the right that's a hand carved stamp and I made it for another pick a stick challenge last year or something um, I think there it was something about probably about um, carve or stamp I don't know anyway I know I carved that stamp at some point and I know that there's a project on my channel somewhere that has this fish used in it and I will try to find it and link it um, in the I card above or in the end screen at the end if I can find it I have I don't know it's probably getting close to 600 videos on my channel now so sometimes it's hard to find stuff I need to go through and weed them out and take some away but I just haven't done that yet another thing I don't have time to do <laughs> so then I also uh, found this this scrap that I had grabbed earlier and this came from uh, the Strathmore Visual Journal is a spiral bound journal that I like to get it has 140 pound watercolor paper and I like to use those and this is the from the cover sheet the packaging that that they put over the front cover of the book so that it doesn't get dinged up when it's in the store and I just kept it I think it's kind of cute I tore the part that has the Strathmore blah 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 whatever blah blah information on it and I just kept the art and I thought that it looked <clears throat> kind of nice with you know the same colors plus it has these kind of bubbly shapes and I thought maybe this is towards the you know maybe it's the bottom of the water um, maybe some bubbles maybe some rocks I don't know anyway I thought it looked cool and it had the right colors the teal and the the um, green goldish type color on it so I stuck that on as well and I'm now um, getting kind of some interesting looks on my tag here interesting texture and color and shape and I also had cut some of the canvas I cut two pieces of the canvas one of them had kind of spiky waves and the other one had kind of curved waves and I ended up putting that curved one up at the top then this little thing I'm sticking on I don't know why I stuck it on there I just thought it added to the composition it's just for no reason at all it's the right color and it's add, it's adding to the composition I, um, I I know that that's a die cut it's like a background die cut that someone sent me um, already colored that color turquoise cardstock and I've used up other piece of it, pieces of it recently so you've probably seen it come across my desk recently when I've used different pieces because I just I think it's fun to take those those very interesting patterns and just break them up and use them in collage I, I think that's it's a lot of fun to do that so um, the last prompt that I needed to deal with and remember you do the prompts and you give them an order there is a wild card I didn't use it it was smear um, I decided not to use it the last one was staple and on my my art journal page challenge this month I took that to interpret being a staple that I something that I use like you always have flour and milk and eggs and bread those are staples in your kitchen um, I I use my Posca pins on that page as a staple in my studio That's something I, I use all the time it's a staple but this time I took it literally and I used actual staples so they're colored staples um, when I bought this little stapler uh, several years ago it came with blue and purple and um, green I don't know different colors of staples you could put in it and so I put the the shiny green ones in there I, they're kind of hard to see you might be able to see them in the picture but they're they're green gold <laughs> so I put those in and then um, stapled on this green gold rose that just was in in the bucket on my desk I have no idea where it came from but it was the right color so then I started with pen work um, and shadows and highlights which I think really finishes this tag it looks kind of disjointed at this point until I do the pen work and then it starts to come together um, 
I started out with Stabilo All Pencil and I did some shadowing around the fish because he is the he or she. Actually, by the end of it, it looks like a she. Uh, <laughs> that's the, the main focal image on here, of course, is the, you know, the fish, but there's a lot of other stuff going on. So I did the Stabilo All blended around the fish and then also um, along the bottom on the edge of the bottom waves because they, I couldn't really see them. They were, you know, there's so much pattern that they're kind of camouflaged. And then I decided to get out some other markers. This one was the right color, kind of a yellow orange and um, hadn't even been used yet. It's been sent to me recently. I believe it's a chalk marker. Um, I've never had a chalk marker for before, but I think that's what it is. Uh, Peg sent me several of these in different colors. And so I had to start it. So you see me, you know, pressing it down. This one is a Liquitex paint marker that's got fluorescent yellow, bright fluorescent yellow, which I thought looked nice with the, with the colors that I had. So I added a little bit of that. I also have, of course, my Posca pins out because they're staples in my studio, right? <laughs> I always use them. Always, always, always. I'm still adding some of this fluorescent yellow. It's, uh, it's very translucent, so it doesn't show up crazy bright like it would on the white paper, but it does add a highlight like to the tops of the uh, waves and things like that. Then I've got my black. Of course, I'm going to add in some black for, for contrast and drama, 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 drama. So I'm, I'm doing some illustration around the fish. Uh, it's cute, stamped, but it looks better if you do pen work on it, I think. It's kind of a weird looking little angler fish or something. I don't know what I was doing when I did it. I don't remember. <laughs> I just know it was, it had to do with the pig and stick challenge, I'm sure of it, but I don't remember what else. Um, I think that his little snaggle teeth need to be white, and I thought he needed some other colors on him, like, uh, you know, the orange on his fins and stripes and things, and maybe some of that yellow and some black. So I'm doing that. I'm just continuing to do different pin work, some little dots and things. Um, I hope you're enjoying this, and if you are, please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment or question below if you'd like to, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course you can uh, ring that notification bell, which really helps, and you can share this, pin it on Pinterest if you would like to, things like that. All those things really help my channel grow. It's it's so getting so close to 14,000, I just wish you would just go over the top of that. <laughs> it would make me happy. And then on to 15,000. 15,000 seems like a really big number to me. But you know, when you're looking at, at people who have 2 million, I guess that's like nothing. But anyway, it seems like a big number to me. So I get out the white pen. I'm doing some different um, pen work, mark making type stuff, dots, things like that with the white pen. And then I think probably getting close to being done. The last thing I do is put some fibers in the hole um, at the top of the tag because I, I think it does need to remain a tag. A lot of people don't put fibers in their tag, but I just think it makes it look like an actual tag and not just some random piece of rectangular, uh, you know, cardstock that you used. I also went around the outside edge with the black pin. Um, I had mounted it on a piece of um, green gold cardstock because I like a frame and I thought it looked even better when I put the black pin all the way around the edge. So that made me happy. And some little pink cheeks and pink lips for my fish. So I do think it is a girl fish this time. And I did add some of the orange paint to highlight the little flower that I had stapled on there. So here's the fibers. I've got some uh, one inch organza that's uh, kind of an olive green color, sage green color. I've got some black grow grain to pick up the black in the composition. And then I have a piece of 
orange, yellowy orange, um, like yarn, knitting yarn, crochet yarn, which has some shimmery, sparkly stuff in it. So that's it for me for this tag. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>